bought my wife's engagement ring 16 months before I gave it to her. <laughs> the girls were like, what a fucking dick. And the guys are like, that guy is pretty smart. He's pretty good. No, here's what I did. This is not even a joke. Look at the girls. Some of y'all guys are like, stop talking, please. I have it in my, I've been carrying it in my pocket for 11 months right now. I've never, here's what happened. I bought it from the Jared of Galleria, and that guy is an asshole. Okay, I'm gonna tell you right now. He's like, we got sales. And I came in, and he was like, yeah, we don't have any sales on anything you're looking at at all. In fact, we're gonna need to charge you triple um, because you didn't walk here. So we're going to charge you triple. I bought my wife's engagement ring. It was a carrot and a half, and I put it in my lockbox. And every time I thought that we had a good date, I would go look at it, and then I would be like, not fucking tonight. Not tonight. <laughs> not tonight. It was good. Why would I ruin this, okay? We're going to. No, it was true. Like, it, it made me so nervous to, like, tell her that I would only be with her for the rest of my life. And then now, once I did it, I was like, oh, this is super easy. This is like my grandpa and grandma. All you do is just argue over shit that doesn't matter all day. You're like, what were you watching last night? And you were like, the bear? Does that have the guy that's from Shameless? Yeah. Did you watch it without me? I did. Well, I'm not talking to you for the rest of the week. And, and that was last week. And um, that's basically it. Me trying to tell her snippets. I'm like, and then he works in a sandwich shop in Chicago. And she's like, why, why would you watch it? Without me, we had a thing, that's what we do. We watch it together and then we talk shit about people who make Netflix about their lives because that's what white people do. And I said, well, I got, you were tired one night and I wasn't, and so I watched it all, all the whole season. And it turns out he's a very diligent worker, but he has a cocaine addiction. So it's not 100% his fault. That's just the restaurant industry in Chicago, all of it. So if you've ever been to Chicago, you're supporting the war on drugs, is what I'm saying. Um, 